Hi everyone, this is Cindy Crane with The Heart and I'm back with a haul. I had hopes of being able to do some share project shares of this haul, but it just isn't going to happen and I kind of need to get some of this stuff put away because I have a lot of stuff um, piled up. And so with baseball and a couple of competitions coming up for my daughter, along with my life, and um, I, I've done a couple of collabs and some other things that I've got on my plate that I just haven't been able to do any projects, but I will you know, eventually be sharing things um, from, you know, what I'm sharing. But anyway, let me share with you what I've got. So first I'm going to share a Stamping Up haul. So I don't do that much Stampin' Up, um, you know, purchasing anymore, but I did want to share a few things that they had on their clearance. So they had this um, badge punch and the demonstrator I bought it from was offering free shipping. So that was the main reason why I decided to to do go ahead and do it because sometimes buying from Stampin' Up, the shipping is just just becomes prohibitive from buying. Um, but this was on their clearance rack. I can't remember exactly how much it was. I want to say like eight or nine dollars, maybe. But I love my Stampin' Up punches. I have a whole bunch of them and I I I've kept them all these years. Then this is like a tear ticket border punch, which I was excited to get. So um I love their border punches. I use my scallop punch all the time. It's my absolute favorite punch of all time. So I've got those two. That was on clearance. This was also on clearance, which is their Myths and Magic Glimmer paper. And it's got like this kind of this green. Um, it's got a blue and I think a white, I want to say. But anyway, lots of paper in here and it was very inexpensive. I can't remember the exact price, but it was very, very reasonable. So I got those. And the main thing that made me go and look on Stampin' Up! to see what they had was, um, sorry about this, but this cord is just totally in the way, but whatever, um, was this. I saw someone use this on a video and it is the cable knit, um, embossing folder. And so they, I have looked, I looked everywhere to see other embossing folders and nothing that was quite like this one. So it was, it has like almost a 3d effect with this cable part. Um, so it looks pretty amazing. So that was the main reason why I got that. And then, um, I got this time for tea stamp set. I really just liked, um, the sayings in here. I thought very cute. This is a photopolymer. I don't care for their packaging. I just think it takes up way too much space to have these CD cases. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I wasn't a fan of paper tray ink I just don't like the packaging. I really, really don't. So I end up having to like customize my own, you know, packaging. It seems like such a waste, you know, from what they send me. But I got that one. And then because this is their celebration month, I believe, yes, this one is a celebration stamp set that I got for spending $50. So I got all of that for roughly $50, I think plus tax. And then I got this for free. So it's pretty, pretty good deal. I was pretty happy. And I really, really wanted that cable knit um, embossing folder. The other thing that I wanted to share is a haul from Sugar P Designs, I believe. I have never purchased from them before. But I think Sharing More had purchased something from them. And she shared a coupon code. So um, I did go to her. Um, I, I am a follower of hers, a subscriber. And so... She showed a couple of cute things and then that $5 off. So I did go there and I did buy some things. Um, I bought this Life is a Carnival. I just really love the colors. And so I got that because I do have some circus themed stamps, including one that I just got from Sugar Pea. So I think I want to say all of these were on clearance. It's possible that maybe the matching dyes of this one was not on clearance which is this Sam set right here. This is the storybook circus. And so I thought this was really cute. I really liked all of the sent sentiments because I do have a couple of circus uh, themed stamp sets, but I won't say I don't like the sentiments, but I like having more choices of sentiment. So, and I really like the font that they use. Like life is a circus, big top birthday wishes, hope your day is spectacular. Really, really great for birthday and I did get the matching um, dye and then this was definitely Clarence and I just thought it was adorable it reminded me a lot of Doodlebug and this is called um, Better Together so it's super 
crazy cute. And so I got that as well as um, the die. And then I got this one, which I don't think I got the die for this one, um, but it's very cute. And it is, I think this was also on sale. I want to say it was $9. So these were all on sale except for, I believe, the dies for the circus stamp set and the paper was not. But everything else was on sale, plus I got the $5 off. So I, I enjoy that. And then, oh, I forgot to mention that I had won a, um, a giveaway so this was from Sugar Shine Designs, and so I won for a recent hop that they just had, and I got the super cute Swingy Monkey Cottage Cuts Designs die, so I was super happy and excited to get that. Okay, and then I have an eBay order, so I forget about ordering from eBay, and you know, I just I just can't commit to, to doing a whole kit at this time, even though the newest Club La La Land Crafts kit was super, super adorable. I really love this one. It was on eBay, and it comes with everything that you see. So I get um, the ballerina girl, the sentiments, the little dancing bears, and then I get the dies, which I, I really liked. And so this kit retailed for $39.95 or something, plus I don't know, 5 or $6 for shipping. So it's like about $45. And so she had this listed for $39.99. And I think I made an offer for $27, I think. $27, $28. I did make an offer. She accepted. So I bought that one. And then the same with this one. I think it was the same person. This was a June 2018 kit. It, you get these little sewing fairies and this little sewing girl and all these really cute um, dies. And I really, really liked the little dress form dies. I thought they were adorable. So very cute. And then uh, and then this one had this really super cute little um, um, clear stamp set that came with it because there's a mistake. So it says, love you beyond, B-E-Y-O-U-N-D. Um, so there's a spelling error. So they had sent this stamp set. And so I got that as well. So that was really cute. So I'm excited about that. And then a couple greeting farm ones. I got um, this Ian batter. And then I got this really cute circus stamp set. That's the greeting farm. Super excited to get that one. And then a couple other La La Land things that I got. I got the book. I don't know what this is called. Book something. Um, it shows that this was eight twenty five. I think sh I think I paid four or five dollars for this one. Same with this one. This shows nine seventy five, but I don't I don't I don't think I paid nine seventy five. But I really love this one, and it's got like um, hearts on it because the dies for La La Land are super expensive. And then I got this one right here it's called Reading Marcy, and I got the Bumblebee Girl. And I got um, this little cute little, it's like a Parisian girl, um, on the little scooter. So I love that. Got that. And then um, I have an order from the Sassy Club because I do want to start being more creative in my planner, which I need to find time to do that too, you know. So let me show you what I got. I really love the stamps that they have there. So I got this one right here, which is an alphabet. Um, I have something similar, but not quite this size. I think the one I have is a little bit bigger, I want to say. So I got this one. You get the outline, so you could stamp it on pattern paper and cut it out. And then I got it in the solid. Um, this one right here, which is the dates as well as these little um, numbers of the months. I got this one, which is weather, which is super, super cute. I don't know if you can see how cute that is. It's very, very cute. So I love that. And then I got this one right here. This is Darla Reads. That's what this one's called. So I love that. And then I got um, this one right here, which is kind of like a habit tracker. Um, you can make lists with it. I just love it. Super cute. 
I got this one, which is also another reading one. Um, so I love that. It's got title, author, and rating. I just, I love that. Um, it's got a couple of really cute sentiments. So, and this one, I don't know what this one's called. But it's very cute. And then I got this one, which I... I have a school themed one, but the words are super crazy tiny. And I, I get it, they need to fit in little boxes or whatever, but they just are so tiny and they're hard to work with. And then if you drop one, God forbid, good luck finding that sucker. But I love this because it has, it doesn't have a bazillion different things because I don't need a bazillion different things, but like late start, picture day. Schedule, book fair, holiday, half day, teacher meeting, class party, reading, homework. I mean, that's kind of the gist of what I need, but I like that one. Very cute. And I got these, some of these mini ones. So here's a mini one. And I think these all fit in this calendar. Um, I don't know that I'm going to use it exactly like that. I don't know. Maybe I will. But I, I just love the font, too, if you can see the font and the size. And this is super tiny. Oh my God. Those words are tiny. I got this one right here, which is very cute. It's bo botastic. And then I got these numbers. It's like a countdown, or you could just use it to put down the numbers. And then I got this budget one, which I really, really like. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's a pretty big haul. I got a lot of stuff to put away. Um, and I just need more time in my life to craft to get through all this stuff. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This is Cindy with Crank the Heart.